Doink her down the middle time. Let's switch up the football talk. Let's talk about nonsense. Sure. You guys know the yeah. deal. Yeah. If you buy it, it's down the middle. If you doink it, you're selling on it. Not for you. First one, flowers. Doink her down the middle. Down the middle. Yeah, yeah down the middle. Three May flowers. It's time. Yeah, it's always like, you know, the saying, stop and smell the roses. It's. I don't know. It's a good, ge- it's a kind gesture. It's thoughtful. There's a lot of purposes for it. Down the middle. Flowers are sweet. I just uh, bought 90 roses for my mother, who's 90 years old today. Wow. Uh, delivered delivered to the house and uh, she will be here. I'm looking forward to, I haven't seen her in almost three years. Wow. So it's exciting. Um, and uh, man, 90 roses, Tied neatly in a bunch together. That's pretty, uh, pretty awesome spectacle. Let me tell you, uh, I think she's gonna love those. So yeah, I'm down the middle for sure on flowers. Mm-hmm, definitely. Flowers are that thing that my fiance always says to not buy her. Oh, it's a waste of money. They go bad. Blah blah blah. But then every time I buy them, she huge smiles. win. Yeah, it's like absolute a huge gesture. win. It's like the simple thing. But now they have uh, these like extravagant box roses that will last like two years or something, maybe even longer. But I know you can freeze, like I know some brides will freeze their bouquets and stuff where you can like, you can do something to it to just keep it alive or functioning fine for a long time. So there's yeah, ways we had, to that. We had prom too, just uh, my youngest son went to the junior prom this past weekend and all the flowers that matched the dresses. <laughs> And it was fun to watch the awkwardness of that, those teenagers <laughs> putting so that cringy. corsage, really you know, point. without getting it into the skin and uh, all the mothers helping their daughters and sons getting this uh, corsage. Is a corsage? Is that the correct yeah. Yeah. garbage? Yeah. Okay. So as a dad, it was kind of fun to watch. Is that uh, not a European thing? Do you guys not do that? In we don't do prom. No, we don't do prom. Wow. Um, well, big cultural misunderstanding. When I went to the prom uh, back in 1977, I asked three oh, girls God. to go. I went. Th- <laughs> I asked three girls to go to the prom. They all said yes, and uh, then they found out. They talked among each other and said, "Morton, you can't do that. You can't take Wait, three what girls." What did you to think it was? I just, you, you know, cultural misunderstanding. I like- we take one date in this well, state. No, I, I cultural Denmark. misunderstanding. <laughs> no, the. In Denmark, we go out in big groups. Probably one of the worst excuses I've heard. For, no, no, it's, this is actually, I'm explaining what what happened and why it happened. In Denmark, you go out a big group of people, girls and boys, and then you just, you figure it out, you figure it out along the way. It's not like a date where one person is with that person. It's more of a mix and mingle. And but then at the end of the night, date? I'm sorry. But like if you're go- so like a prom, do you have like a prom date? If you have no like more like dating? if you're going to a party or something. I mean, okay, I, it was a reach to try to explain to these three <laughs> girls <laughs> what I had going back in Denmark. So they basically lined me up, and I said I had to choose one. It was the most painful experience in my life. Oh, they set experience. themselves up though too. <laughs> the lineup, just choose one. It of was them. a lineup, man, and wow. uh, you know. It was. Did you have buddies behind you being like, "Okay, guys, get cut"? Was come not good. Me? Yeah, they were all rolling their eyes at me, Morton. You. I love how such you tried a to blame it on no-win no situation. <laughs> I thought it would have been a flex, a major flex, to come to the prom with three huge, girls. huge flex. Yeah, three, it would be a big flex. It didn't work. Let me put it that way. It did not work well for me. You talk about awkward encounters when they're putting the corsages on. If you show up, like everybody takes pictures as a group, but they all have their singular date. If Who's you this up baller a, over here? Yes, with the three. All the parents of their, their girls would be like, so which one's oh, your date? Like, yeah, the, the, so the parents. It didn't go well with the parents. I mean, it was like, yeah, anyway. I don't know if I should have that's told this one. story now. No, that's, that's amazing. One. I that's wish I have known that sooner, Morton. That's incredible. <laughs> All right, next one. Sushi. Doink her down the down middle. middle. I down love the middle. sushi. Yeah, but I don't good. like wasabi. I don't do the wasabi. Oh, I love wasabi. And ginger. Oh, man. More we the merry. We had some oysters last night at dinner, and everyone wanted me to try, like, the horseradish. It's the same thing. Oh, you know, it's you like know, the... I love that. I do. I yeah, love some sushi. Sushi down the part. middle, for sure. Absolutely. Fresh, do fresh wasabi. sushi. Got to know like, when the fresh fish comes in. Very, very important. That's a good point. Usually yeah, New Tuesdays York. and Thursdays in sushi restaurants, because Thursday for the weekend, 
And then the leftovers, you don't want to eat sushi on Monday. Bad. You know what my niece is? They'll have peanut butter and jelly sushi. What? Yeah. Explain. It's like yeah. self-explanatory. Like they roll the... the that sounds right just based based out well it's like think about it rice is kind of like the bread it's the grain uh i haven't tried it but it it doesn't sound too weird but they love it there's no fish right just have some no just okay. peanut butter yeah. and jelly all right oh. we're, now i'm more receptive okay i thought you meant that was like uh, a yellow tail a raw yellow tail slathered in there no <laughs> it's like the kitty version like there's no raw yeah raw i got you I got yeah you. it's cute it's a fun thing all right, last one for you guys here. The Kardashians, doink or down the middle? You gotta nail down which one, like. Uh, doink, all the way doink, 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 doink. <laughs> Again, reality TV, it doesn't fly with me. I agree, I could go either way on that, but like, Kim, like she's done like um, criminal justice reform, like she's actually made some uh, yeah. some moves out in the, in the community. For sure. that, I'll say down the middle, but like reality TV, uh, I'm not a big fan of. But I feel like like when a lot of people get famous stuff, they go a little cuckoo crazy. I feel like they've been semi-team, but they also have a killer PR team. So we may sure. not know everything. That is true. <laughs> so I'm doing, I'm doing in that one. I probably will say doing because I'm not like fans. But uh, when you think of like how big they are as celebrities, I don't think that they are as crazy as you can be. So also give him a thumbs up for that, but I'm not like, I, I don't pay attention to them. So I'll say doink. Okay, there we go. I mean, there's multiple billionaires in that group. So, you know, you feel like you want to doink them because they, they feel like they're famous for no reason. But I mean- I'm not hating put, on put, their- Put your money where your mouth is, right? Yeah. Like, I'm not hating that part. Profit, it's just, yeah. I don't know the drama and the- uh... Uh, Drama also lines up when they have a new line coming out. Uh, you're right. You're Fragrance. Right. Part of the strategy. Strategic. So, mm -hmm, I <laughs> from the drama, I do think maybe it's PR. No such thing as bad PR. Let's see how Kim got famous. So, I think that she she knows how to spin it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, not sure I'd want to become famous that way. Uh, sure was, yeah, but, but they can spin it. I don't. I wonder though if that was an accident though. Using spinning and the Kardashians, yeah. Yeah, anytime there's a scandal, they flip it. They're like, you That's know, hold my beer. One. And then they go and make cash off of it. Lots of it. Yeah, yeah. yes.